Just in.
to the end of myself This has been the longest road Just when my hallelujah was tired You gave me a new song I'm letting go
totally undone with your arms around me fear was no match for your love now you want me Cause you totally undone and with your arms around me fear was no match for your love now you want me I'm letting go I'm letting go Forgotten, you unwind me until I'm totally undone. With your arms around me, fear was no match for your love. Now you want me. If I lived a thousand lifetimes. Wrote a song for every day Still there would be no way to say How you have loved me If I lived a thousand lifetimes And wrote a song for every day Still there would be no way to say How you have loved me As if I lived a thousand lifetimes song for every day so there would be no way to say
much freedom, so much freedom, oh my soul will sing, oh such freedom, such freedom you bring. This freedom, this freedom to sing. thankful, God, that in your presence, God, there's freedom, there's healing, and that you handpicked each one of us to be here because you want to speak to us this morning. Show us what love is, what healing is through your presence, and teach us how to fully surrender and let go to you. We will now transition into a time of worship in the Word. So if you have your Bibles with you, please turn to Psalm 139. Psalm 139. O oh Lord, you have searched me and known me. You know when I sit down and when I rise up discern my thoughts from afar. You search out my path and my lying down and are acquainted with all my ways. Even before a word is on my tongue, behold, O Lord, you know it altogether. Lord God, you have searched me and you fully know me. You are with me wherever I go and in everything I do. Thank you for your presence when I rise in the mornings as I walk down the streets and sit on the subways. Thank you for your presence when I speak and when I listen, when I smile and when I cry. You know my every thought before I even conceive them, my every word before I draw my breath to speak. You are with me whether my attention is upon you or not. Thank you for your presence from morning to morning. Thank you for searching out my path ahead. Abba, you are Jehovah Shammah, the Lord who is present. You are present in the air that we breathe, in the winds of our dreams. Thank you, Abba, that we are never alone.
Psalm 139, verses 5 and 6. You hem me in behind and before and lay your hand upon me. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. God, I thank you for being my shepherd, for hemming me in from behind and before. Thank you for laying your hand upon me as a loving father, guiding me into my future paths and smoothing the edges of my past decisions. Even when my heart pounds with anxiety or anger or wrong motives, still you are with me. You will never leave or forsake me. You are actively molding me in every circumstance. Your intentions are to always draw me nearer, deeper into intimacy. Your presence shapes and refines me into your original design of me. We wonder at your sovereignty, your goodness, your love. Thank you, Father.
verse 7. Where shall I go from your spirit? Or where shall I flee from your presence? If I ascend to heaven, you are there. If I make my bed in Sheol, you are there. If I take the wings of the morning and dwell in the uttermost parts of the sea, even there your hand shall lead me and your right hand shall hold me. If I say, surely the darkness shall cover me and the light about me be night, even the darkness is not dark to you. The night is as bright as the day, for darkness is as light with you. Lord, there is no place that is hidden from you. There is no place that anyone can hide from your gaze. There is no part of ourselves that escapes your notice. We cannot conceal any motive or thought from you. Your spirit is ever-present, pursuing us relentlessly every morning we awake. When our hearts burn with praise or passionate worship, you are there. When our souls feel wearied and dry, you are there. Whether we are running towards you or away, your hand is always extended toward us, guiding us, correcting our trajectories. Whether it is our intention or not, you see everything clearly and deeply with eternity in your eyes. Our Jehovah Shammah, you are the Lord who is present. Thank you.
God, we surrender, God, to you. We surrender to you, God. And we acknowledge, God, that you are our potter, God, and we are the clay, God. Make our hearts more tender to you. Make our ears more sensitive to your voice and open our spiritual eyes.
God. We want to burn for you, God. Thank you, God, that there is no end to you. There is no end to understanding you and that there's always more knowledge. There's always more that we can know about you, God. Thank you for your consuming love, God. Thank you that your love is consuming fire, God. Yes, bring us deeper, God. Psalm 139, 13. For you formed my inward parts. You knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. My frame was not hidden from you when I was being made in secret, intricately woven in the depths of the earth. Your eyes saw my unformed substance. In your book were written, every one of them, the days that were formed for me, when as yet there was none of them. Jehovah Elohim, eternal creator, you are my creator God. Even before my body was formed, you thought about my every part of my mind, of my heart, of my sense of humor, of my every, every in, in idiosyncrasy. Lord, it was you who knitted me and formed me in the womb of my mother. You chose the shape of my nose, the color of my eyes, the frame of my bones. In your love, you delighted as you crafted each part of who I am with your perfect hands, your perfect words, your perfect thoughts. You intricately planned every day of my life as you formed me. You knew every more moment of gladness and pain I would live through. You knew of the moment I would become aware of you, and at this thought, your heart bursted with joy. Then you planned the day I would be born, and you waited with great anticipation to reveal me, your masterpiece, to the world. me 
stand in awe and make me stand in wonder of you. Verse 17. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast the sum of them! If I would count them, they are more than the sand. I awake, and I am still with you. How wonderful are your ways, Abba! Bring us into the knowledge and understanding of what you think of us, how you see us. Bring each of us, bring me, into the truth that you adore me. You are always thinking of me. I am your precious one. I am the apple of your eye. I move your heart. You're constantly thinking of me, singing over me, delighting over me, encouraging me, praying for me, believing in me. Your gaze is always upon me, knowing every part of me, moving in me, moving through me. Thank you for your love, Abba. We love you.
O God, O men of blood, depart from me. They speak against you with malicious intents. Your enemies take your name in vain. Do I not hate those who hate you, O Lord? And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with complete hatred. I count them my enemies. Search me, O Lord, and know my heart. Try me and know my thoughts. And see if there is any grievous way in me. And lead me in the way everlasting. Almighty God, righteous King, in you there is no darkness, and a stain or blemish is upon your countenance. We align ourselves with you, with your heart, with your standards, with your will. Our hearts are stirred in holy anger toward those who hate you and would defame your name. Father, we desire to be in complete surrender to you. Bring revelation about anything that is contrary to your ways. Search every corner of our hearts and our minds and our hands and purify us. We desire to ascend your holy hill. We desire the everlasting way. Father, we love you. Thank you, God, that your eyes, God, can see everything, God, and that you're searching our heart, God, that there is no fear, God, because of your perfect love, God. 
Thank you, God, that your thoughts toward us are uncountable, that they un outnumber the sands of the sea. Thank you for meeting us and that your presence is, is here. Amen. We are now going to move into a time of intercession for the nation of Israel. God burns with a love for Israel, and he desires for each of us to catch his heart. Please stand with me in agreement as I pray on each topic and follow with your own intercession. The word of God says that we gain entrance into his gates with thanksgiving in our hearts and into his courts with praise. So let us begin by declaring praises to God for the nation of Israel. Abba, the depths of your sovereignty is mysterious and glorious and unsearchable. It is truly your heart that every man comes into a reconciled relationship with you. At Mount Sinai, you foresaw Israel's response to the covenant you offered. You foresaw their missteps, and yet your love for the world compelled you to send your son through the bloodline of Judah. We thank you for your mercy upon the entire world that by your will a partial hardening has come upon Israel until the fullness of Gentiles may come in. We praise you that today the blood that flows in the veins of every Israeli has the DNA of our deliverer. We praise you for the holy root of Jesus and that his holiness flows into the engrafted branches around the planet. We praise you that we actually walk among your chosen people, the people through whom we can have revelations of your love, revelations of divine relationship, revelations of your relentless pursuits of our hearts. We thank you that your love is stronger than death, victorious over all sin and rebellion. Thank you for the 12 tribes of Israel. Thank you for sending Jesus. Let us lift our voices and praise to the Lord for the nation of Israel. Let's pray. this morning, I repent for the spirit of Antichrist that has pervaded the minds of so many of your elect. I rep repent on the behalf of the jealousy and rivalry that many believers feel towards your chosen people and pray that right now you will bring conviction into the heart of your bride. Lord God, I repent on behalf of America and the hate crimes that have been on the rise. We pray for mercy upon those people that they will turn away from this attitude that grieves your heart. I repent for the toxic sentiments that have pervaded American institutions of higher learning and pray for them to halt. 
Lord, this morning we declare a halt to the unreasonable rage and anger towards the nation of Israel, a halt to any premeditation of violence towards your people, a halt to the spirit of Antichrist. Holy Spirit, we come in alignment with you. We agree with your heart to bless Israel. Come with the fire of conviction upon the global church. Let, them be, let there be a revelation of the Father's compassion for Israel. Let there be a, an alignment in the heart of the church. In the name of Jesus, we decree that hearts are being moved and softened towards Israel. Right now, we release a conviction to love them. We declare that an army of intercessors is being raised up to invade uh, to intercede on behalf of the nation. Lord, pour out a spirit of knowledge and understanding upon this intercessory army that they may pray in agreement with your heart. Let's Father, we thank you that you never change and that your promises never fail. We thank you that your gifts and calls are irrevocable, that the gift of your son Jesus is true and real and even more permanent than the foundations of the world. We thank you for your mercy upon the Gentile believers that your Holy Spirit has brought clarity to so many, and we pray for this same mercy upon your chosen people. This morning, we decree an opening of their spiritual hearts, eyes, and ears. We decree a breaking off of all spiritual blockage and hindrances to understanding the new covenant. 
Holy Spirit, we thank you that in the new covenant, for anyone who turns their focus to the person of Jesus, the veil is removed from their eyes. We declare that no longer will the Israeli mind be dulled by the veil of the old covenant. Right now, we release our own revelations of Jesus as Messiah upon the Jewish people. We declare a collective turning of hearts to the truth of the gospel. We declare a shift in the spiritual atmosphere over the nation. We decree that whole families are coming into the joy of salvation through Jesus. And we release a quickening into deep fellowship with you. Holy Spirit, burn the truth of the good news upon their hearts. Let's pray.
Holy Spirit. We thank you that you showed up at the Pentecost over 2,000 years ago. We thank you that in your presence we cannot help but be changed. We thank you that your holy fire not only refines, but it also ignites passion in the heart of every person who believes. Lord, we pray for your fire to come upon the church of Israel. We pray for open hearts that are ready to receive a baptism of fire. We pray for minds that are ready to let go of all old mindsets. Holy Spirit, won't you break out? Won't you burn up all the dross? Burn up the over-familiarity with your holy word. Burn up any confusion, futility, and jadedness. Burn up all the old covenant mind patterns. And in its place, we pray that you ignite a pure and holy passion to see you glorified. Stir up an insatiable hunger to see your majestic display. Let them blaze with the desire to see you, the God of their patriarchs, lifted high. Let their voices be raised among their peers and families. Let their worship resound in the streets of every nation that they live in. Come upon them with the spirit of faith in the God of their ancestors and marry that understanding with the present reality that you are a God of signs and wonders. Show yourself as the God of Isaac, Abraham, and Jacob. Let's pray.
over all of history. Thank you for Abraham and Isaac and Jacob. Thank you for the 12 tribes of Israel, for the spiritual inheritance we receive through them. Thank you for Jesus. We pray for a global repentance for anti-Semitism, and we pray for a heightened sensitivity to your heart of compassion for your chosen people. We declare that you are the one true God, that the veil is lifting and Israel is turning to you, Lord Jesus. Let them recognize that you are Messiah and pour the fire of your spirit upon them, that they may be stirred into the joyful passion of bringing you the glory that is due to your name. Thank you, God. We declare all of this in the name of our Messiah. you will not um, let go and give up for your mercy endures forever your word stands forever God and your promises are true Lord we thank you for your presence and we thank you Lord for your word thank you for Psalm 139 and the truth that it speaks we thank you Lord that yeah that you know us single part of us, God. We thank you, Lord, that even if we try to escape your presence, that we couldn't. And that you chase us down with your mercies and with your love. Lord, let us love you more. Let us love you more. This is the cry of our hearts. Jesus, we want to love you more. We, we want to learn how to love you more, how to bless your heart. And Lord, especially when it hurts, especially when it's hard to sing out, Lord, give us grace. Give us grace to command our souls to sing your praises and to come into alignment with the truth that you've spoken, that we are your marvelous idea that every day we live is your marvelous idea. Yeah, we love you, Jesus. And it's your name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us this morning. Uh, it's good to see all of you and hope that you are really blessed this morning. Uh, we invite you to come out tomorrow evening for another watch from 8 to 10 p.m. or next week, Wednesday and Thursday as well. Have a blessed day.